Magnus Carlsen is not even a grandmaster yet, being rated 2,484. His opponent, Garry Kasparov, the former world champion, is rated 2,817. In chess terms, this is equivalent to Usain Bolt being beaten in the 100-meter dash by someone with no legs. There's no way he can win, is there? It's the opening round of the Reykjavik Rapid Tournament. Not one person in the crowd thought Magnus had a chance, but you'll never guess the trick the 13-year-old had up his sleeve. The games have started and the clock is ticking, but Kasparov is nowhere to be seen. Carlson waits impatiently, the nerves starting to set in as he stands to face the Grandmaster murderer Gary Kasparov. Out of nowhere he appears. Magnus shakes his hand nervously, and the match begins with d4. After a long time of deep thought, Gary responds with d5. After a few developing moves, the match turns into the Queen's Gambit declined opening. With both players fighting for central control, Magnus pins Kasparov's knight to his queen. Gary replies with knight d7. This allows him to move his queen to a5 without risking damaging the pawn structure. Carlson was not expecting this move and looks surprised. After thinking for a while, he responds by putting his other knight in front of the king. This breaks the pin on c3, meaning Magnus can now move his other knight. Kasparov stops to think. Magnus gets up from his seat and strolls around. Why would he do this in the most important match of his life? Afterwards, Gary advances with his army, striking in the center of the board by pushing forward pawns. The player who controls the center always has an advantage over their opponent. The disrespectful little bleep comes back to his seat. After multiple peace trades, Gary's plan of attack becomes clear as he lines his queen and bishop pointing towards the weak pawn on h2. This is extremely dangerous as it currently defends Carlson's king. However, it appears Gary vastly underestimated his opposition. Magnus moves the pawn up one square to prevent it from being captured. After a long time thinking, Kasparov makes a terrible mistake launching his knight to d6 blocking the queen's vision. This allows Magnus to capture the bishop that was previously protected by the queen. Gary's face looks seething with pain. Multiple trades take place and after all the smoke clears, Carlson is up one pawn. Will he be able to maintain this advantage against his much better opponent? The queens are traded, leading us to a vicious endgame. Being up a pawn in this position means Magnus is playing to win. Both players simultaneously launch their kings forward hoping to crush one another. Unfortunately, after many shuffling moves, they both realize the endgame is drawn. Despite the one pawn advantage, the opposite colored bishops prevent Magnus from making any progress. They quickly shake hands, and before you can blink, Kasparov disappears into the darkness. 